It's 822. I'm Tom Whalen with Linda from Frederick County Animal Control and Adoption. Good morning, sweetie. Good morning. How are we, you? We have done this together for years and years we and years. We have a really long time, almost eight years, I think. Oh, man. And it's so good to see you. And, Thank you. Uh, you can go to the uh, WFRE Facebook page and see Ginger. And appropriately mm-hmm. enough, Monopoly just announced their new token is a kitty cat. Really? I think wow. they had I a poll. Heard that. Yeah, they had a poll in the contest. Aww. And so they have a cat. Cats are wildly popular now because they of are. all the videos, YouTube yeah, videos. Yeah. They like uh, blow it up. And Ginger is very sweet, very she curious. Is. She is. She's exploring over there just like Columbus would do. She um she came to us the latter part of March, uh, very very pregnant. And the first week of April, she delivered five beautiful little kittens. But unfortunately, they all developed an upper respiratory infection, which turned into pneumonia, and none of them survived. So Ginger is still available for adoption. She's great. She was in foster care. She actually developed an upper respiratory infection as well. So we can't tell people enough, you know, if you have your own animals, please spay and neuter primarily. But then don't forget that vet care is important right behind that to get them vaccinated to prevent them from from catching things that they may not survive. We don't say spay and neuter enough when we have our Shockley Hound of Pet of the Weekend. We need to do yeah, that. Yeah, because we can't, we can't assume people are aware of this because it's right. not working. And uh, so she is, She Sean said they woke her up, put her in a carrier, yeah. put her in a car, brought her over here. <laughs> she uh, made a, you know, she protested just a little bit, but now she is in full cat mode. She is. She's very resilient. And right now she lives in our shelter. We have what we call a kitty cabana where cats, um, we introduce them slowly. She's in what we call the transition cage. So she's the newer comer to that room. And then we have an existing cat. So over time, we will just have them free roaming together. Takes about 10 days or so, 10 days to two weeks to comfortably introduce them and certainly we monitor but it's a great experience for the cats it's a great experience for adopters and it's kind of like walking into your house because most of the cats in there will walk right up to the door when you approach them so it's a nice way to interact if you were to go to um uh, frederick county animal control and adoption it's on uh rosemont avenue right at montague lane montague 1832 rosemont right 1832 at- yeah go in sit you know hang around yeah and then you can ask about ginger and maybe they'll let you hold her for a little oh, bit oh absolutely she's in the kitty cabana so she's you know free roaming <laughs> You guys always hold your breath this time of the year, wondering what the kitten population is going to be in the springtime. Yeah, we've already seen not an influx, but a small, um, you know, introduction of, of cats and kittens and underage kittens and pregnant moms. And, you know, it's I, I, I really think our community has gotten much better. Okay. Um, I see improvement just from the population perspective of incoming, but we're still not doing enough because cats like Ginger are still showing up pregnant, nursing. We still have orphaned kittens. So spay, neuter first, make sure they get vaccines, vet care, and commit to your animals for their whole entire life. Kit, uh, Ginger is only about two or three, but she can live to be 15, 16 or older. So it's, it's important to make that commitment to them. It's around the corner a little bit coming up in May, but uh, we have the open house. We do. That's we do. May. Give me the date, sweetie. It's this. It's the Sunday, right? Nineteenth. Oh, May nineteenth. Sean's on top of that. Okay. Sean, Sean has promised us that it will be the biggest, be- baddest, best <laughs> open house we've had. So. They're always a lot of fun. <laughs> they are. And so we'll keep that. We'll keep that on the calendar. I think I'm going to be. I'm going to be at the open house. That would be fun. Oh no, no doubt about it. I think it's on my schedule. <laughs> good, good. If you would like to adopt Ginger, she is. A sweetie you can call the shelter at 301-600-1546 so good to see you again same here thank you